Welcome back to Fox 59 Morning News. We have something good in store for you here right now. We are talking about NASA ready to usher in a brand new era of space flight. Today, two astronauts are set to lift off from American soil for the first time since 2011. That's when they ended the shuttle program. Well, these astronauts are headed to the International Space Station aboard a SpaceX rocket from Elon Musk. And joining me live from Houston is NASA astronaut Tracy Caldwell Dyson. Tracy, thank you for checking in with us on this highly anticipated day. It's the first ever crewed commercial rocket launch taking off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, 433 this afternoon. Can you tell us a little about today's mission and the two crew members aboard? Well, Ray, thanks. It's great to be with you this morning on such a special occasion for NASA, for SpaceX, for I think our entire country. Uh, today marks uh, a new era in space flight. It's a giant leap for our commercial companies, and it's also um, uh, the beginning of our test flight season. And uh, Bob and Doug are uh, two of our veteran astronauts and um, have been a part of this mission for a very long time. And so there's uh, uh, no better folks uh, to have uh, going up in the rocket today than those two. Awesome. Well, NASA's using SpaceX and, and Boeing in this launch. Can you tell me what it means for the United States to again have the ability to launch astronauts from our own soil? Well, though we are um, indebted to the Russian uh, space agency for all of their cooperation and for the reliability uh, of getting to the space station, um, our, um, our reliance on them uh, has been um, something we have uh, wanted to lift. And today marks uh, hopefully the end of, uh, of that reliance. Um, and now we can uh, have other means by which to get to the International Space Station. It's, it's really a, an amazing dynamic going from, you know, Rush, a Russian partnership to now a, a, a private partnership with an entrepreneur to make this happen. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to now in, in the next few years? Well, uh, the list is long. I think with uh, private industry, it's um, just the, the innovation the the drive to see what they can do, uh, especially in low Earth orbit. I'm looking forward to uh, them harnessing that environment and um, being a part of it, but then being able to um, let go of the reins and move on uh, as NASA hopes to do in, in exploring moon and Mars and beyond. You wonder if this is going to be the start of, you know, ordinary Americans, if they can pay for the ticket to be able to get on board a rocket and then get into outer space. So tell us about uh, the ability to watch this online again. It's going to happen this afternoon at 433 and that is our time Eastern time. And I think the weather is, is at least 60% favorable the last time I checked. We'll be watching on NASA online, right? You got it, yes. Um, we're still watching the weather, and afternoon uh, is always, um, uh, the weather's always a little tormented in the, along the East Coast there. But we have uh, high hopes that uh, it will clear for today's launch. And actually, NASA's live coverage of the mission begins at 1215 Eastern time. So you can tune in, NASA TV. YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all the social media networks. If that doesn't say something about America's greatness and, and to be able to do it during a health pandemic like we're facing right now, well, it was great to talk with you. Tracy Caldwell Dyson, appreciate your time and uh, congratulations and we'll be watching together. Thanks very much, Ray. All right, you take care. And so, Ange, good weather wow. for that today.